Would you count pain-inducing bodybuilding workouts as high-quality leisure? Greetings from Santa Cruz, Bolivia. Um, second question, uh, bodybuilding as a high-quality leisure activity. Jesse, I'm going to throw this to you. You know a lot about that culture, and maybe not bodybuilding, but exercise, et cetera, et cetera. That's a really intense, complicated, high-quality leisure activity, right? 100%. Yeah. I mean, even looking at, I was a big fan of Arnold's biography and some of the stuff that he's put out. And he said, you know, when he was training, like when he was in his 20s and stuff, yeah. Like going in there was like doing deep work for you do five hours a day. He broke it up in the morning and the afternoon, but I would think a hundred percent that would count. Yeah, no, that sounds good to me. I, I just watched that biography on, I think it was on Netflix for of Ronnie Coleman, who was the six or seven time Mr. Universe, a uh, huge guy. Now his whole body's broken down. He can't walk and he's in constant pain because it's it lifting such heavy weights, but that looked pretty deep to me. Look, that look that look pretty to me. So yeah, Pablo, I think that's great. Also, I like that it's it's uh different. So you're using different parts of your brain uh, than like your normal work or your other types of life. And I think there's probably a clarity that comes to that. Um, I mean, look, when people see me, they're like, this is a guy who knows about bodybuilding. So they're often coming to me for advice. When, when you look at me, you think super athlete, you think steroids, you think that's a guy who knows his way around the gym. So I'm not surprised you asked me, asked me this question, but, uh, yeah, that's deep. Go for it. Actually, I'm going to ask you another question to his part too. So in a lot of these bodybuilders, a lot of people who lift and whatnot, they, what's your view on them having earphones in and listening and stuff while they're lifting? Cause a lot of like Arnold talks about like really thinking about the muscle and like feeling it and feeling it grow and stuff, but you could be distracted if you have other things in your ears. So I was just wondering to know your thoughts on that. I, you know, I've read about that somewhere. I mean, you might know more about it, but it seems to be true that uh, because of the, the mind muscle connection that really concentrating on the muscle that you're trying to, um, exhaust or contract or do the, the reps on makes a difference. So, I mean, is this the case you would, you, you would know this just more than me. Is this the case for serious weightlifters that the concentration on the muscle aspect of what they do is, is key? I think so. hundred percent. Yeah. Arnold is totally believes in that. And that's was, I think a big, cause he was so disciplined. He could focus on that. And I think that helped him when he was training. And I said it in my personal life by just not wearing headphones anymore. I mean, sometimes you're at the gym, there might be music on and whatnot. You can't really help that, but yeah, I don't know. Was, I've kind of always thought about what your thoughts on that were. I suspect, I'm just thinking about this out loud, but I suspect doing that type of training so you're doing muscle training, but you're giving full concentration to the contraction because it helps is probably fantastic general deep work calisthenics. Like in other words, if you're doing that on a regular basis as part of a fitness routine, you're gonna be able to concentrate on a book better. You're gonna be able to concentrate when you're walking and trying to hold a thought in your head better. So, so it's a good point, Jesse, because I think Pablo actually, I'm going to go beyond now and say, not only does that count as high quality leisure, doing serious weight training might actually be a fantastic way of improving your general, your general ability to concentrate. And so, and you have all the other advantages that's different than the other type of thinking you do so that you get that relaxation and anxiety, uh, reduction, you know, look, I'm picking up my fitness this January as well. I don't like the dark, I don't like the dark, uh, weather. And so I'll see if that has a difference, but it's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a, a good tool in the deep work toolkit. 